Hello everybody and welcome back to the Legends of the Twilight Princess. Last video we finished up the Snow Peak runes and we reunited the Yetis as we saved Yetta from her fate and I just can't get over how cute that is. We'll leave those guys though, we've invaded on their homes enough. So we're going to leave. Lead us out Minna, let's go. And of course we de dematerialize right outside their house. So now at this point if you want, you can actually walk a little bit up the slope and you can um, get that Poe, which I think I'll do. We will be coming back here later um, to see the Yetis again, which yay! But I'm gonna just going to do this now so I don't forget about it and so I don't have to worry about it at a later date. So as a wolf, you want to go ahead and just climb up this little spiral like snow case thing and there should be a Poe that's right on the top waiting for you. There's a lot of Poes that were here in Snowhead as well. I think we got three in the temple and there's quite a few on the mountain I still have to grab and I'll take care of those later but let's just go ahead and grab this Poe for good measure. I should actually probably honestly stop being lazy and at least bring back 20 Poes um, because of course, there's 60, but if we bring back 20, we might get something for it. Anyways, we're done at Snow Peak for a while. There's not a whole lot we can do here right now. So I guess um, a good place to go would be to Castletown to see what, what we're supposed to be doing next. Alright, Castletown. Let's just transform back into a human here, because I'm pretty sure the mailman is going to stop us as soon as I try to walk forward. I, w I would have transformed back into a human anyways, but... What do you want, Mr. Mailman? Greetings, Mr. Link! I have come to deliver a letter. There is a letter for you, Link. Two letters, in fact. Why, thank you. I'm ecstatic. Well, my business is concluded. Onward, to mail. Alright. Well, I guess we should probably read them, just to see what they are. Ah, uh, the first is from Agatha. Agatha had a dream last night. Butterflies surrounded Agatha and lifted her up to the sky. As she waved to the people below in Castletown, she could see so many people, some waving back, others staring wide-eyed. Agatha flew in a big circle above Hyrule Field, and the butterflies formed into a bed beneath her and said, Let's play again. Soon they faded away, and she woke up in her own bed. Oh, Agatha wants so badly to fly in the sky. I don't know why she's sending us this letter, but it's clear that her bug fetish knows no ends. And of course we get a letter from Yetta, which is pretty quick, considering we only just left. That postman must really do his job well. I feel bad. You paid me visit and I not much help. I feel better now. Husband and I sled lots now. Very much fun. Link, you join us at Snow Peak sometime. Uh, this is actually a mini game, and since you took the mirror away, that is why Yetta feels better, which is nice. So we were able to help her. Alright, so we'll we'll have to keep those things in mind for later. For now, though, I say we at the very least go get our next storyline objective. We don't necessarily have to do the story right now, but it might be good to actually go and see what's up. Because, you know, I just love seeing Telma and having her hit on me. It's highlight of my day. Alright. So, of course, the bar is over here. And hopefully she's going to have some information with us. And maybe we could talk to a Shay and let her know how impressive and manly we are. Hi, Talma. And this time we have Aru, a Shay, and Shad. So, Russell's actually missing, which is interesting. Let's look at the map and see where Russell is. I wonder if the sacred grove that Russell mentioned is near this mark. Ah, uh, hey, we've been to the sacred grove before. Ah, oh, backtracking. All right. Well, it's kind of interesting that we're going to an older area because all the places we've been so far have been completely new. Do you guys say anything new? Did you say that? Did you see the sad state of Hyrule Castle? It's the urgent desire of this group of ours to restore peace to the kingdom as swiftly as possible. Link, please continue to lend us your strength. 
Ah, I'm trying, man. I'm trying. I think Shad will still go on about how hard he is about the sky beings, which I don't want to hear about. And what about you, Ashe? Link, huh? The Beast of Snow Peak hasn't appeared in Zora's domain since its last visit. In the end, the troubles in Hyrule and the events of Snow Peaks were beyond even my imagination. Honestly, there's got to be someone who knows exactly what really happened. You're not even gonna say thank you or tell me how impressed you are or how sexy I am or anything? Oh, what a cold, cold woman. Well, my feelings are now officially hurt. I'm gonna leave, and maybe we will head on over to the Sacred Grove. Alright, so I don't know if I'm gonna do any side questing. There's not really a lot of side questing to be done at this point in between these two dungeons. So I might actually go ahead and head uh, towards the Sacred Grove at this point. I was gonna come over here because I was gonna go to Malomart, but then I realized that I still don't have enough rupees to buy the magical armor. I do believe it's 598 rupees if I recall. I still need a few more. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and let's warp, and we need to go to the Sacred Grove. So I guess we need to warp to North Farron Woods. Let's go see if we can find Russell. Take a trip back to Memory Lane. I really like that they reused your home area quite a bit. It's kind of nice that, you know, something that was so important in the beginning of the game uh, becomes important later on to... Like, you keep revisiting it. I think it's a pretty cool feature anyways. Of course, you've got the bird, who... I don't think I need lantern oil, but I might stop by and actually buy some potion. Buy something, anything. Uh, I'll take some red potion. How much does it cost? 30 rupees. Pff, I'm gonna pay 30 rupees. Screw that. So get some red potion, then Link can be a thieving bastard and only put in... Ah, let's give him 20. Let, let, let's not be too cheap. That's a bit on the skimpy side. So that at least I'll pay him and he won't attack me next time I come. If I do. Pay like you're supposed to next time, you cheapskate. No thank you. See you later. Hey, it's Russell. I can do whatever I want. I'm the hero of time. And what is up, Russell? It has been a while since we took a walk in the forest, huh? Yes, and how our world has changed. It's kind of interesting that, like, you're just sitting peacefully with him at the beginning of the game, and then all of a sudden, you're thrown into total chaos, and you don't see him till now. Say, do you know about the far side of this deep gorge? Some say there is an ancient temple deep in the woods that guards a sacred power. Ooh, that sounds interesting. The ancestors of the Hylians created the temple. Signs of their civilization, ancient but very sophisticated, are everywhere. If someone could attain the power of those ancient people, well, I'm sure it would go a long way towards saving Hyrule. Link, would you take on this task? Would you cross the gorge and find the ancient power sleeping in the temple? Well, I was already over there. I didn't see no temple, Russell, but I'll take another look. I knew you would. To cross the gorge, just use my partner here. That's, ta that, that, that's talent right there. You can whistle that song. And he calls a golden chicken? Do you doubt my partner's skills? He flies like a dream, believe me. Well, you will definitely make it across the gorge. Wait and see, my doubting friend. Uh, thanks, Russell, I guess. Alright, well, let's just do what Russell says. This chicken actually, like, bounces incredibly high. You can see I got, like, a massive amount of air when I jumped. Oh, thanks, Russell. I guess your chicken was useful after all. That's nice. Uh, I wonder... Can I fly over there? I don't know. I'm I'm very skeptical that I actually can. I think I'll try and use the Gale Boomerang first. I don't, I don't remember this part of the game too well. And it's been a while since I did any sort of practice, so I'm going to try and do it first before I fly. And hopefully the chicken doesn't fall off the edge or something. Uh, there we go. Alright. Yeah, see, I would have just barely made that if I would have not done it, so it's a good thing I did. And I think I only need the, I don't think I only need the chicken up to this point anyways. I think the rest of the part I can pretty much go to, because the Sacred Grove is right there. 
Oh, no, never mind. I do need the chicken to uh, get across here. I guess I could probably transform into a wolf, too. But just for fun, let's just use the chicken. Because Russell gave him our fr or gave us his friend, so we might as well use him. Alright, so now we are back at the Sacred Grove, which really, in all reality, we weren't really at too long ago. I mean, we only had the Master Sword for maybe 20 parts or so, so that's kind of crazy. But anyways, I'm going to stop it here. The last couple of videos I did were extremely long, so a shorter video won't hurt you guys. We're going to leave off here, and next time we will go into the Sacred Grove once again. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.